Dr. Ray Wallace dropping in on you. I'm actually out moving around this morning. I just left uh, uh, the studio, had an interview with the radio show. Actually, uh, I'm excited anytime I get to work with one of my siblings. Uh, I got a chance to be interviewed by my siblings on a couple of different topics uh, that I'm, I'm really invested in. So that was always excited. I'm headed to the office now. And I'm sitting down and as I'm driving, I'm thinking about, you know, all the things that are happening. And then I get a phone call from someone and they're telling me about something that's going on uh, in their lives. And, you know, and my response is focus. Focus on what you control. It's so important to focus on what you control. Uh, there are things in your life that you do not control. And I can tell you from experience, when you start to focus on the things that you don't have control of, you start to get into a place of worry and anxiety. You start to become anxious about it because you have this idea of an anticipation of something not going the way you want it to go. And being that it's out of your control, it escalates, it cascades, it, and, and, and it cascades and it goes uh, downhill from there. And what you got to understand is uh, that's what the whole prayer of serenity is about. It's like, hey, look, if it's something I can change, give me the power to change that thing. Uh, give me the, the, the wherewithal and the, and the uh, fortitude, the intestinal fortitude to go out and make the moves and take the actions necessary to change it. And then there are going to be those things that I can't change. Give me the ability to accept them and to move forward. It doesn't mean that I become complacent. It doesn't mean that I, I am compliant with negativity. It simply means that I understand this isn't something I can influence, so it's not where my focus needs to be. I'm going to say, let that be and let me focus. What happens is when I begin to focus on the things that I do have control over, I change things. And if I focus enough, what I find out is there are going to be things that I don't like that's going to happen in my life. That's a given. It's not going to be a life where I get to circumvent all the struggles, the the, the, the darkness and, and, and the disappointments and the loss. And uh, the vicissitudes of life are going to roll into my paradise on, on times when I least expect them and least need to be uh, in a place of dealing with them. That's that's life. But what I find is when I focus on the things that I can control, when I focus on the actions I can take, what it does is it puts me in a better position to deal with those things that are uncomfortable, those things that are not what I would like them to be. It's not about getting around them. It's about building yourself up and becoming the person that can deal with Let me tell you something. There's something in, on the inside of you that you need to reach down inside and pull out and you need to put it out in front of you. You need to understand that no matter what you go through, you can get through it, you're built for it. The thing is, most people fold before they ever get to their breakthrough. Most people lay down, shut down, throw in the towel before they experience a breakthrough. When I say breakthrough, what I mean, I don't mean that in a, in a religious connotation. While it can be applied to faith, uh, most definitely it requires faith. I'm not talking about the cliche breakthrough. I'm talking about a breakthrough in a situation that you're dealing with where you are going to actually get to a point where your persistence pays off, where your commitment and consistency pays off, where you are literally going to be able to see the fruits of your labor bear out. That's your breakthrough, that moment where the resistance has to release you. And that's what you're striving for every day is a new breakthrough. You're going to get through one and then it's going to be time to set the standard higher. It's going to be time to set the goals higher, to set the um, things you aspire to higher. And then you strive to them and you're going to meet new resistance, new opposition, new challenges. And then the goal is to push through until you get a breakthrough. When you get a breakthrough, you've reached another level, another milestone, another, uh, uh, another plateau in your life. And it's time to rise, set it, and you keep going. It's about next level living. It's about living life at the next level and constantly striving to get to the next level. Not to prove anything to anyone else. Not to sit up and say, hey, look what I've done. It's to say, I'm getting the most out of my life. The sense of fulfillment you get when you consistently graduate in life to the next level. In relationships, the next level in uh, business, the next level in finance, the next level in impact. That's 